Hey guys, okay so in this part we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to demonstrate how to download uh, and install the driver and the uh, uh, assistance software so we can go ahead and enable the IOC feature uh, for your DJI Phantom. So you're basically going to go to the DJI website and uh, and just download download the software that you need. I've already been there so the address is uh, www.dji-innovations.com I'll go ahead and include that uh, in the description on the video once you're at the website you're just gonna go to support and then we're gonna find our device which is the uh, phantom we're gonna go to phantom support and download and then once there just click on the downloads now the software that we're looking for is the uh, NASA M assistant software and the DJI driver installer. So we want to download these two pieces, the NASA M assistant software and the DJI driver uh, installer. Uh, I, I use a Windows 7 computer and I think this is all the same. It looks like they have something different for, uh, for Windows 8 here, but uh, like I said, haven't, haven't played with that yet. So these two files, you download them. I, I did the executable versions. Uh, once you have them downloaded, then you're just going to go ahead and install the driver first. Um, tell you what, let's do it. Let's look at that. We'll go ahead and install that driver. I've already installed the NASA, the NASA uh, uh, um, assistant software. So we'll go ahead and install the driver to show you how that goes. It's asking me, is the main controller powered up and connected? To PC via the USB cable it is not so we'll go ahead and power up the controller and then we want we want to connect we want to connect the USB cable to the computer and then power up once we've done that we can click on yes we have and then it's going to go through the rest of the installation welcome to the installation uh, it's a pretty quick installation as you can see it already updated the it's even fast even like I said I already had it installed but it's it's very fast and you'll click finish and you're done there so then we've got, uh, again, uh, I should have showed you that. Hang on a second. Um, this is the uh, uh, NASA Assistant software, which is what you're going to use to actually control things. I've already installed it on mine, but uh, this is the download. This is what it'll look like. You double click it and run it and install it. Once it's on, once it's installed, you're going to open the Assistant. It may ask you to create a login if you have not already done so. Uh, I believe it will. It will ask you uh, to create a login, and it's free, obviously. You need to create that so that you'll be updated with uh, with uh, uh, firmware updates and whatnot. I'm up to date. So what I want to show you, basically, is how to enable this. Again, it's, in, it's already enabled on mine, but on yours, you're going to have to do this. So you're going to go to Advanced, and then right under Advanced, you're going to see the IOC click on that and yours is going to be unchecked so all you're going to do is check it and you you're, you've enabled it and you'll see here now if I go to my right now it's on off watch when I go to course lock see it just changed to course lock here and then when I go to home lock H lock it goes to home lock there so at this point this is completely enabled and at here you're done you're basically done IOC is now enabled and you'll be able to use it the next time you go out uh, and do your flying. 